the teaching of black history in America has been a controversial topic as of late, but at Mobile's Revelation Christian Academy today, Black History Month came to a close with a lesson that had everyone in agreement. It was inspirational. The school created a living wax museum with students portraying historic figures and present day leaders who have dedicated their lives to racial equality. And this morning, a student portraying State Representative Barbara Drummond met Barbara Drummond. It is, it is so wonderful for them to know, especially living history. Uh, because that's what I look at myself as. I didn't know, I think Chloe and I both were very surprised. I, I didn't know Chloe, I, I came and pushed Chloe's little button mm -hmm. and she says, I am Barbara Drummond. I'm saying, I'm the real Barbara Drummond. Right, here we go. This evening on NBC 15 News, we'll hear from educators at the school about why this project is so important. And we'll talk to an innocent man who spent 30 years on Alabama's death row, earning him a place in Alabama history and this exhibit. Well, the public is invited to a meeting tonight to help craft an action plan for the Tolmanville community. The city of Mobile will host the neighborhood planning meeting at LaFleur High's library at six o'clock tonight. If you're interested, come prepared to share your ideas, priorities and suggestions. Well, a film dedicated to the Buffalo Soldiers of World War II will hold its first screening tonight for the start of this year's film festival. There are only 250 seats available and it is open to the public. The screening will be at 6 p.m. at the downtown library in the theater. Parking is free and again, there are only 250 seats available. It is free and open to the public.